Hi and welcome to a new video. Do you store your photos and videos on iCloud, but you don't know how to access or view those photos? Depending on the device, the method is slightly different. In this video, I'll show you how to access and view your iCloud photos on any device. Let's go. There are many reasons why you should use iCloud photos. First, if you store your files on iCloud, you can access your photos and videos easily anytime on any device. This means that any photo or video taken with your iPhone can be viewed on your iPad, MacBook, a Windows PC, or other devices, as long as you are signed in with the same Apple ID. If those photos and videos are deleted from one device, the action is detected by Apple and the same files are removed from the cloud and on any other devices as well. Another advantage is that all of your photos and videos are also backed up in case you lost your iPhone or it breaks. You can also easily share your photos and videos by creating a link that you can send to others. To use iCloud Photos, it is important that you subscribe to enough iCloud storage. Apple offers only 5GB of free cloud storage. If you want to upgrade to a higher storage plan, click on the tag in the top right or on the link in the description below for a tutorial video. To sync photos from iCloud to your iPhone or vice versa, you need to activate iCloud Photos first. Although it's enabled by default after signing in with your Apple ID, check your Settings to make sure. Now, scroll down to Photos and make sure that iCloud Photos is enabled. Scroll down to Mobile Data and make sure it is activated as well so that even when you're not connected to a Wi-Fi, you can view your photos. Of course, you need an internet connection. So, check in your control center if your Wi-Fi and mobile data is activated. Once the setup is done, you can find your iCloud photos and videos in the Recents album in your Photos app. Sometimes, it takes some time for your iPhone to upload all images. That's why it's helpful to connect your iPhone to a power cable to speed up the upload process. At the bottom, you can see the number of photos and videos you have stored, as well as the time your iPhone synced everything. In my case, it is updated just now, which means that all photos and videos from iCloud are now synced to my iPhone. On a Mac, accessing your photos is pretty similar as on the iPhone or iPad. To enable iCloud Photos, click on the Apple logo on the top left corner and open System Preferences. Again, you need to be signed in on the Mac using the same Apple ID that your iPhone is connected to. If you are already signed in, click on Apple ID and go to iCloud. Here, also make sure that iCloud Photos is activated. Now, when you open the Photos app on your Mac, you will see all the images that are stored in the cloud. Again, it could take some time to download all images from iCloud. If you want to learn more about how to use and set up iCloud Photos or if you have problems following me, just visit the Apple support website linked in the tag. The fastest way to access your photos is to view them online. This works on any device. You only need a browser, in my case Safari, but you can use any browser you like. Now open iCloud.com and sign in. If you have activated two-factor authentication, you need to verify your sign-in with a verification code you will receive on another device connected to the same Apple ID. Once logged in, click on Photos. Here, you can view all photos stored on your iCloud. You can also download these images as a zip file. By pressing the Shift key, you can select all the images you want to download, or you can select all images by pressing Command plus A. Now, click on the cloud with a downward arrow symbol to download the selected images. If you took the photos on your iPhone in the HEIC format, you could download them as JPEGs by choosing the Most Compatible option. It's also possible to sync your photos to your Windows PC by installing iCloud as an app on your computer. You can find the download link in the video description below. If you want to learn how to set everything up, click on the video tag in the top right corner. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. 
Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.